Welcome again everyone and hello, I am Nancy, your host, and welcome to another episode of TBL in my kitchen. And today we are going to be making some frosting. I don't like the one from the store, so I make my own. So I'm going to show you how. This is going to be super easy, you're only going to need a few ingredients first. We're going to need four to five cups of confectionate sugar or just powdered sugar. A couple of tablespoons of milk for consistency. About a teaspoon of vanilla. And two sticks of unsalted butter. And that is it, that is all you need for this frosting is just butter, a couple tablespoons of milk, your sugar, and your vanilla. So we're going to get started. I know I'm going to make a chocolate frosting because Bill loves chocolate frosting. And I have some chocolate pieces to decorate the cupcakes. Let's start. We're going to start by creaming our butter. Important tip, friends. Make sure that your butter is at room temperature. I left this one out since last night and just put it on the plate and left it on the counter so it would be at room temperature today, depending on where you live. Room temperature butter works best. No, actually it's the only one that works. You cannot use cold butter and expect the same results. No, you cannot. <laughs> Room temperature butter is the key. Make sure that your butter is room temperature. Since I am wearing Hello Kitty and we're going to be messing around with powdered sugar, let me go get my handy dandy TBL apron. All right, friends, now we can start. Okay, we're gonna put our butter in the bowl and cream. That's why I wear an apron. Okay, I've creamed the butter. It has to be fluffy. And the recipe calls for five cups of powdered sugar. I usually put four in taste because I don't like mine super sweet. You can add the fifth one if you want. I have the four cups in here. We're going to sift them slowly into our butter and mix. It's easier if you use a spoon. Less messy. And that's why you sift your powdered sugar. You just don't want to get big chunks of your powdered sugar in your buttercream. Let's do a little bit more. Let's add a little bit more. Look how cool it looks. 
Okay, it's getting a little thick, so I'm going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of milk at a time. It's getting there. And I'm also going to go ahead and add my teaspoon of vanilla. with one okay let's do two this looks like a cloud and it is just delicious all right, here it is. That's the final product. I'm going to separate half of this into this bowl and I'm going to do half of the buttercream into chocolate. Bill likes chocolate frosting, so. And I also love chocolate frosting. <laughs> so we're gonna do 50-50. Plus the cupcakes that I did is half of the vanilla, the other half is chocolate. And in the middle, I made some marble cupcakes. And just like powdered sugar, to make it chocolate, I'm just going to sift about a teaspoon of unsweetened cocoa. Definitely more chocolate. Let's put a little more. And you can make this as chocolatey as you want. Trick for extra flavor on my chocolate cupcakes, for adults, of course. You don't have to add this. I do because it gives it a, just an amazing flavor. About a teaspoon. I guess that's a good thing I wore my apron. Okay, friends, here you are. Two buttercreams, chocolate, vanilla. They are super delicious. This chocolate is super creamy. You can use either the quick mix. You don't have to use the unsweetened cocoa powder. I like to because it just makes it extra chocolatey. And also the Kahlua in there gives it an extra kick for the adult cupcakes and this one is just vanilla so i'm going to go ahead and put these in a piping bag and we'll get to decorate some cupcakes i was not just going to put these in the sink like this it's delicious look at it go to waste i'll be right back i am not a frosting person neither is my mom but this this is delicious. This buttercream is so amazing. Super creamy, chocolatey. The vanilla is super silky. You have to try this. This is good for cakes, for cupcakes, for anything that you want to put buttercream or frosting on. We're just gonna twist until we get it in the front. There we go. Okay. I put my buttercream in the fridge just for a second because it's been pretty chilly here, but this past couple days has been warm. So I just wanted to just firm it up a bit. I'm just gonna do a few minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to put these boxes together that where I'm gonna put my cupcakes. 
been watching because I have a neighbor, you guys. I call her Mrs. Dovey. <laughs> she heard cupcakes. You what's here? That's where I do YouTube. And there she is. Another Mrs. Dovey. I don't know, call me picky, but if I'm making cupcakes and I'm gonna put frosting on them, you don't want to cover them with something and then the frosting is just going to get smushed and it defeats the purpose of the creating cupcakes with frosting. If you ask me. Okay, let me show you my buttercream. Here is my buttercream. I went ahead and put it in piping bags. I know they look the same, but I have four different piping tips. I have two boxes, half vanilla, half chocolate, and this one has chocolate, marble cake, and vanilla. But I know you're probably saying, wait, but Nancy, where is the recipe for the cupcakes? <laughs> this is just a box cake that I use to make the cupcakes. But if you're interested in my own cupcake recipe, let me know in the comments below and I will make one for you. Okay friends, I am done with my cupcakes and that was it. It was super easy. Try it out, let me know. And if you do try it, let me know in the comments below. I am your host, Nancy. This has been another episode of TBL in my kitchen. And I hope you enjoyed this buttercream recipe. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I love you friends. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, I have to show the cupcakes. Okay. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Okay. Oh,